Well, these questions show up on just about every test. In fact, some, uh, several of these are on every test, if not all of them. So let's go through them so you're ready for the first test through the final exam. And the sooner you master these, the more points you make. Okay, so we have to find the domain of f of x equals 4 over x times x minus 3 times x plus 2. And uh, <clears throat> now the domain is all real numbers except for those values for which the function is undefined. And will you agree division by 0 is undefined? There's, there's, you know, it's impossible. So we just need to know what values of x will take these, uh, uh, this denominator to 0. So the domain equals the set x such that, the vertical line means such that, x is not equal to, and well, if we let x be 0, this denominator will become 0. If we let x be 3, that factor will be 0, and so the whole denominator will go to 0, because 0 times anything is 0. And if we let x equal negative 2, we'll also have division by 0, which is undefined. So the domain is all reals except 0, 3, and negative 2. By the way, let me clear something up. What if we have g of x equals 4x to the fifth minus 3x squared plus 1? What's the domain for this? Well, there's no possibility of division by 0. As a matter of fact, there's no uh, variables that are under a square root symbol, so the domain is all reals. Or we can go negative infinity to infinity using interval notation. So let's do one more of these. How about this? y equals, this is b, root of 4 minus x. Well, we can take the square root of anything as long as it's greater than or equal to 0. So to find the domain, we can't take the square root of a negative number and get a real number back. So to find the domain of this, we set whatever is under the square root symbol greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0, and then solve. And so now, let's continue on. So we'll subtract 4 from both sides, and we get negative 4. And then we'll multiply through by negative 1. And if you multiply this side by a negative, you get a negative times a negative is positive. Anytime you multiply or divide through an inequality by a negative, you have to f uh, flip the inequality. So we have x and a negative times a negative 4 is positive. So x is less than or equal to 4, and so the domain equals the set x such that x is less than or equal to 4, or if you want to use interval notation, negative infinity 4, and we put a bracket here and a parenthesis there. Now, Let's uh, add the fractions. So we're on part 2, and we've got 5 over x minus 3 minus 4. And let's see. We need a common denominator, and we need to multiply by 1 in the using that common denominator. So the only denominator here other than 1 is x minus 3, so we'll multiply by 1 in the form of x, excuse me, x minus 3 over x minus 3. And so this equals 5. And since we have that common denominator now, x minus 3, 
and minus 4 times x is minus 4x. Minus 4 times negative 3 is a plus 12. And so what do we get? Well, 5 plus 12 is 17 minus 4x over x minus 3. And that question is a sure thing many times. Okay, let's do the next one. We've got to expand this. So this is 3. We've got to expand this uh, and write as two separate terms that are simplified or reduced. So here's what we'll do. Distributive property says we have 3x squared times x all over 27 plus, and now I multiply this 3x squared times 8, and that's over x cubed. So that equals, let's see, 3 goes into 27 9 times, and x squared goes into x cubed x times. And so now we have, oh, we've got x squared times x, that's x cubed. And downstairs 9 plus 3 times 8 is 24 over, and x remains there. And so now we've expanded and written as two separate terms and uh, both of terms simplified. Now let's go to the last one, and we'll simplify this 4x to the negative 3 over 7x to the 8th equals uh, the, the uh, Neither of these exponents apply to the 4 or the 7, so they remain where they're at. Well, to change this sign on the exponent, we have to move this downstairs, so that becomes x to the 3rd. And so now we have 4 over 7, and we simply add the exponents, x to the 8 plus 3 which equals 4 over 7x to the 11th, and we're done. And those questions are on just about every test.